hundreds of Colorado homes lost and tens of thousands of residents told to evacuate due to fast growing wildfires yesterday in the city of Superior, just north of Denver and south of Boulder. It was literally life or death. God help us. Holy 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 Now, miraculously, miraculously, uh, there has been reported only one single person missing, and they have been located. So there has been no loss of life from this amazing, devastating storm, which the powers that be are going to blame on climate change. But in fact, according to this article, has to do with the down power line and the fact that the plains here happen to be dry. And now there's snow falling there and the fire's been put out, but not before 6,000 acres were burned in less than 12 hours. 580 homes completely destroyed, as well as vehicles and, well, complete lives. Everything that they owned completely engulfed. And we're going to show you in just a moment how fast this, well, unraveled. And the fact that there is no one that perished from this is absolutely a New Year's miracle. Now, according to local state officials who spoke Friday morning briefly, there are no reports of fatalities from the wind whip blazes that burned an estimated 6,000 acres in Boulder. This wasn't a wildfire in the forest, they said. It was a suburban and urban fire that was a disaster in fast motion in the course of a half a day. And it was all over, over for many people. Now, I find this interesting that they blamed it on a down power line because just a week before, an arson suspect was identified in a 6.5 acre boulder grass fire. And that's Rain Honeman. He's been identified by the Boulder County Sheriff's Office suspected of a recent grass fire that sparked the University of Colorado Boulder's campus on December 23rd. So that's a little interesting piece to the puzzle. And also, a camera outside the home of South Boulder Road, just west of Davidson Mesa, where this tragedy took place. These people still don't know if their home is missing, but in just two minutes, the fire moves a half a mile and completely burns down the entire complex. Take a look. Well, I've tried for the last hour to load this any way I can, and it's not happening. So we'll just watch a few more seconds and discuss the nature of how severe and how fast this was. This is just what we're going to look at is 30 seconds. And that's where it's going to freeze up. So if you have an actual computer with connectivity, then you can watch the rest of the video. And what happens is that the, the camera goes blank and it goes dead shortly thereafter. Because of the nature of how fast this uh, fire was moving, uh, there was no way to uh, prevent loss of buildings. But they did prevent the loss of life and almost everyone evacuated. Even though at the very beginning people were stubborn, when they saw how fast this was moving, they got out of Dodge. And some people, well, barely made it out alive. And our hearts and prayers go out to all the people in this region between Boulder and Denver. And at, at, at a time like this, 
thank God our weak president declared the air area a disaster in due time. And that is a Christmas miracle. Hope you got something out of the video. Pray for the people in this region, Superior and Louisville. Be safe. We love you. Happy New Year.